We'll go through the example that's preloaded on your HMI and kind of explain how uh, you create the, the imagery and the functionality that's, that's built into it. So we'll start out by uh, running an offline simulator so you can get an idea of um, it, what this page is supposed to do. So it's, it's just some text and some you got a picture behind the text and you got some buttons here. So it's pretty simple. The buttons cause it to jump to a different page. So we'll exit this. Uh, the main image behind uh, everything is is right here. You can see it. Um, it is a static picture. You can see those. Uh, let's see where is it here? Static picture. And you just select the file, and then you click here, and you find in your file structure where the image is, and you you click OK there. But we've already got one here, um, and then that'll you'll end up setting it down on your screen, and then you will. And you'll you'll line it up how you want it, and you can stretch it to size. And you can actually see down here at the at the bottom, you can see it's got its its placement um, on the page as well as its its uh, width and height. In our case, we're putting it at the top left, and we stretch it the full distance. Uh, so that's how you get the imagery behind it. And we do this for most. We'll use our own custom image for most screens. Just uh, to give to give it its own kind of custom feel, it's it's not required, but it usually looks pretty nice. And then for the text, we found that those work best uh, not in the image itself; they they look crisper if you actually use the, the text tool. So you can see that here; it's under basic elements, and you can just write whatever it is you want to write. You can select the font, the uh, the size. You can pick the, the color, whatever you want to do, and you place it. And you can see you can shift it around your page however you want. So that works pretty easily. And the last thing we're doing on this page is we're doing the buttons. Uh, so those are, you'll find them here, they're screen buttons. And just like any other button, you can change the, the color scheme of it, you can change the shape of the button. If you're wanting to use a background image like we are, and you just kind of want a transparent functional button, uh, on the screen, then what we do is we just change it to transparent and we select the particular page you want to go to and then we place it. And in this case, I'll actually run it, you see we've got this transparent button. If you were to hit anywhere in the this area, this large area here, uh, it would cause us to jump to that page. So we can actually try that real quick. Uh, so if I clicked here, you'd see we jumped to the basics page, but you don't see anything visibly there. So it works pretty well. In the next video, we'll go through the uh, the, the uh, basics page.